Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mrs. Stern, and I am here today to help you with learning your alphabet. The alphabet has been around for thousands of years in different forms, and like many people who have learned to read before you, you are learning which sounds go with which letters in the alphabet. This is very important because without this, you cannot learn how to read well. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, first I'm going to give a little example of what you'll see on each screen. So on the left side, you will see a letter and the letter will either be blue on a blue background, excuse me, on a blue background or on a red background or for one funny letter on a purple background. I know this is strange. So the letters will be on different color backgrounds and I will explain why later. When you see the screen, you should look at the letter and you'll see two forms of the letter. You'll see a bigger version, which is the uppercase version or capital version of the letter. And then you'll see a smaller version, which is the lowercase version of the letter. You'll also see a picture of an ear and the ear will show you how many sounds this letter can have. So for example, after I look at the capital letter A and the lowercase letter A, I then look at the ear and I see A has three sounds. A can go A, A, or A. And after I say that, you are going to want to say it. A, A, Ah, and there's a picture of happy little children practicing saying ah, ah, ah. You will want to do that. Now, if you already know how to write your letters correctly, then you can have a piece of paper and after you say the sound, you write the uppercase and the lowercase version of the letter. If you do not know how to write the letters correctly yet, then you can just follow along and I'll do another video at some point showing how to write your letters correctly. So it's better to learn to write them correctly than to just guess and have to fix bad habits later. All right, let's move on to our first letter. This is the letter A. The letter A has three sounds. A, A, A. Please repeat, a, a, a. This is the letter B. B has one sound, b. Please repeat after me, b. This is the letter C. The letter C has two sounds. K, s. Please repeat after me. K, s. This is the letter D. The letter D has one sound. D. Please repeat after me. D. This is the letter E. The letter E has two sounds. E, E. Please repeat after me. E, E. This is the letter F. The letter F has one sound. Now, since you can't see my mouth, it's a little hard to tell which sound I'm saying. So I'm gonna give you a word that will help you picture how to make the letter F sound yourself. F is the sound that starts frog, or funny, or free. So this is the letter F. The letter F says, 
Please repeat after me. This is the letter G. The letter G has two sounds. G, J. Please repeat after me. G, J. This is the letter H. The letter H has one sound. Please repeat after me. This is the letter I. The letter I has four sounds. I, I, E, Y. Please repeat after me. I, I, E, Y. This is the letter J. The letter J has one sound. J. Please repeat after me. J. This is the letter K. The letter K has one sound. K. Please repeat after me. K. This is the letter L. The letter L has one sound, L. Now, since you can't see my mouth, it's hard to see how I'm making this sound. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples of words that have the letter L. The letter L starts the word Lego, the word love, and the word lollipop. This is the letter L. The letter L says ol. Please repeat after me. Ol. This is the letter M. The letter M has one sound. M. Please repeat after me. M. This is the letter N. The letter N has one sound. N. Please repeat after me. N. Now, since you can't see my mouth, I'm going to give you a couple of words with N so you can picture what it sounds like. Noodle, Nancy, or nothing. All start with the letter N. The letter N says N. Mm. Please repeat after me. N. Mm. This is the letter O. The letter O has three sounds. A, O, U. Please repeat after me. A, O, this is the letter P. The letter P makes one sound. P. Please repeat after me. P. This is the letter Q. The letter Q makes one sound, qua. Please repeat after me, qua. Now you will notice that the letter Q has a little friend next to him. His friend is the letter U. And in English words, the letter Q never goes anywhere without his friend, the letter U. So whenever you spell a word with a Q, that's an English word, you will always have his little friend U afterwards. This is the letter Q. The letter Q says qua. Please repeat 
after me. Qua. This is the letter R. The letter R has one sound. R. Please repeat after me. R. This is the letter S. The letter S has two sounds. Please repeat after me. This is the letter T. The letter T has one sound. T. Please repeat after me. T. This is the letter U. The letter U has four sounds. A, U, U, U. Please repeat after me. A, U, U, U. This is the letter V. The letter V has one sound. V. Please repeat after me. V. This is the letter W. The letter W has one sound. W. Please repeat after me. W. This is the letter X. The letter X has two sounds. Z. Please repeat after me. X, z. This is the letter Y. And you will notice that the letter Y is the only letter we've had so far that has a purple background. The letter Y has four sounds. Y, I, I E. Please repeat after me. Y, I, I E. This is the letter Z. The letter Z has one sound. Z. Please repeat after me. Z. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have completed the alphabet. The alphabet has 26 letters, but as you can see, it has more than 26 sounds. Now, you may be wondering, why did some of the letters have different background colors? And the reason is this. There are five letters that had blue background colors. And the reason they had blue background colors is because they are special letters called vowels. Vowels are letters that you don't need your lips or teeth or tongue to say. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U. And you'll notice there's a picture above A, E, I, O, U. There's a handy little sentence that you can use to help you remember which letters are vowels. The sentence is lady I O U. And that has all the sounds. Lady I O U. A E I O U. And I have a picture of a lady who looks a little grumpy along with some money that I think we might owe her. And she is supposed to help us remember A E I O U. Lady I O U. So those are the vowels. Everything with a red background is a letter called a consonant. Consonants are basically any letter that is not a vowel. So vowels, there's only five. Consonants, as you can see, there are quite a lot. Now you may be wondering about why. 
who is all by himself up in the corner, and he has a purple background. Y is a funny little fellow of a letter because he can't decide what he wants to be when he grows up. So sometimes he acts like a vowel, and sometimes he does the job of a consonant. So he goes on both teams. He's a mixture of both blue and red. He's on team purple. And you can see there's a little sign next to him that shows that he can go two directions. He can be a vowel and be on the blue team, or he can be a consonant and be on the red team. So Y is someone who can go either way. That's why he's purple. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you made it through the whole alphabet, all 26 letters. And even though there are only 26 letters, there are more than 26 sounds. So it takes a lot of practice to become a master of the alphabet. You'll wanna practice every day. Now, if you are a person who does better if you see a picture of something or if you hear something in a song, then I would definitely recommend this book, Doodling Dragons. And it has all of the letters and sounds of the alphabet set to music. Some of the songs are quite catchy, especially the one for I. So I would definitely recommend this book and the music. If you can't get both, I think just the music would be better because the music is what's really the most helpful. The music can be found on Amazon Music or on iTunes, Apple Music. So go ahead and investigate if you think hearing the sounds and songs would help you remember them. Thank you for listening to this recording and watching. I do hope you learn the alphabet well and become an amazing reader and read all the great things that people have written down before us. Have a wonderful day.